dance high like this Cause E, he gon' swag it like me He came from the bottom, he had it like me He know how to hustle, he scurry out the streets He got it you want it, he charging a fee Official Miss Jamaica, wait Roll a tape, she ain't never fake She gon' be the one to really try to motivate Tell it to your face why the mother hoes hate Money Moses, he gon' be the coldest If you got a secret, he the one that's gonna expose it If you Check it, check it, check it, this is Unique House, it's your boy ECO And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, outstanding Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nah, nothing, nah, you know my dad walk on. Man, hey man, listen man. Uh, we out here in New Jersey, New York, whatever. I'm on the East Coast, man. You know, um, we've been here for a few days, man. Been in here doing some nice interviews, man. And my guy is here now. He popped up on the scene, <laughs> man. Pimpin' Ken is here again, what's baby. Up, what's up, Pimpin'? Man, on Boss Talk 101, man. And guess what, man? He bought Hustle Mom with him. I know I'm I supposed to been a met this woman here, man. It, we had already set it up, and it didn't ever happen. But you see how God did. Yes, won't He do it? He do it every time. All you know what I'm saying? We thought we had a plan, but guess what? He has a plan that's bigger than our plan. Yes. So, man, we meet out here, man. So, how you been? I've been so fine. I've been blessed. You know, um, I went through you know some heartaches and stuff like that. But you know, you got to keep on going. Keep the marathon thon going, you yeah. know. Um, me and Pimpin' Ken, we got this new, new podcast. podcast. Yeah, it's called the A View from the Game, and uh, yeah, tell them a little bit about it. Uh, it's, it's it's epic, you know. what I'm saying, you just uh, you know, everybody have a niche. You know, everybody got something they doing. You know, you got drink champs, boss talk, boss talk one on one, be high. But you know, uh, we we represent the game. You know, both of us from the game, so we pretty much. Want to punctuate those uh, people that's in the game that's doing something in transition, you know, making that transition, doing something positive with their life. You know, we just, you know, like we all know Ice-T, you know, he used to be in the game. You know, uh, Snoop used to be in the game, 50. So these are some friends of mine that eventually we're going to be uh, interviewing and bring them to bear. And, you know, even the people that's <clears throat> not as famous, you know, we're going to, you know, kind of touch into their lifestyle. You know, I know some partners, you know, they used to be in the streets, you know, then they got st construction company, real estate firms, uh, some of them even into trucking and stuff like that. You know, uh, my man, Sean, <clears throat> I'm looking to interview him. He's doing a big thing with the trucking. Yeah. I had a, who was that? Uh, Boss Man Brewster, the one mm -hmm. that he be helping people out of prison uh, on the show. Um, but, you know, you said something that kind of, you know, when I was going through my thing and locked up and doing, I had met up with some cats. Man, I'm from Kansas. Man, I'm from here. But they were they were out there getting to it, you know, uh, 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 you know, going PIMP all over the, all from state to state, city to city. Right. Um, wasn't no, but they, it wasn't about nothing but the game for them. That's all. They didn't they, they didn't know the the. It wasn't no entertainment side. It was just the game. The like, game. And that's yeah. where I come from. Yeah, and when you when you see it, you know we had I had Rollo on here, and Rollo yes. he was telling me about Rollo the pimp was telling me about how and and I'm gonna ask you to break this down for me, Ken, because I I wanted to hear your version on this man. Mm -hmm. He told me about how you know he he one of his girls you know she left him uh, for another PIMP, and he say some of them would call you know he could call them or or, or they would call him and, and tell him hey I got your girl you know and mm -hmm. she with me now you know and some of them was cool he said but some of them was ignorant and he had to pick and choose the intelligent ones versus the ones who wasn't wasn't really to deal with the fact that she's moved on yes tell, give me some man was he telling me some in, inaccurate information or what well you know when they don't understand the first thing I do is uh you know I, I get me a door dash and I, 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 I order them some nachos and so I say, eat the nachos, man, because this is not your hoe anymore. You know what I'm <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you got to serve a nigga, you know, with science. Sometimes you got to serve a nigga with, you know, with, with intelligence. So when they don't understand, you know, I kind of put it in their head on a whole nother level. You know, let them know, man, you know, you can break the plate. She don't eat there no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man, call mama, call auntie, call mother. Say, ain't no more Christmas with mama girl no more. Right. Ain't no more Thanksgiving, you know. You know what I'm saying? She go, you know, she going to be in. She made a choice, and her choice is so happened to be Rolls Royce. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so he, he said when it first happened to him, you know, he, he felt good about it because he knew he was solidified. It happened. You that know nigga lied. Man, I never feel good to get knocked, man. The first time I ever got knocked was right here in New York. Uh, a brother by the name of L.A.J., but he was really from New Jersey. 
I brought this broad named Keisha up here with one of my bottoms, a uh, 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 CC, the broad from uh, Pimp Up Holes Down. We came up here, you know, we was on 11th Avenue, and uh, this dude named Lucky from Jamaica was riding me around, <laughs> acting like we was cool all the time, you know. They was working on me, right? But, you know, I wasn't green, because, you know, I had plenty of gay. It's just that, you know, I'm in New York, so I just wanted to meet the peas, you know, meet, you know, like meet the Falcons, some type of shit, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, so the nigga called me. I was there at the Carter Hotel. It's a little cheap ass hotel, 48th and uh, 7th Avenue, I believe. And uh, so he called me and said, Say, man, you know, ooh, man, I got the bitch, right? And, you know, I was kind of like, you know, a little salty and shit. You know? I said, I wanted to go off, but I knew the game. I said, man, you know, nigga. I said, man, this nigga got me. You know what I'm saying? I said, damn, I went all these years without getting peeled. I finally got peeled in the Big Apple, you know. But it kind of, you know, uh, and I had a Cadillac. I had a 90, uh, not a, it was, was it, yeah, 95. It was a, what, what's this? Is, it was a, uh, it was an old ass Cadillac, 85. Okay. Yeah, it was 85 Cadillac, a white Cadillac, and the motherfucker air conditioner, the uh, heat went out on me, and it was cold as a motherfucker. So uh, I'm like, damn. I said, I can't even let these bitches hoe up and get the, 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 the heat fixed, man. Right? I got to get up out of here because I was so mad, right? Right. So I get in the car and be in the bra, you know, we drove all the way back to Milwaukee, man, looking like we was in a movie or something with icicles and shit coming out of our bras and shit. <laughs> so, uh, but we made it home, you know, cold as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And regroup. And uh, I went and bought me a brand new Cadillac. At worst, I went and got me a few more bitches and I, 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 I peed up, you know what I'm saying? Then I came, I bought me a brand new Cadillac with some gold spoke and I came back and I gave New York the motherfucking blues. Mm, okay. I'm talking about these niggas in New York, they ain't never seen no nigga like Pimpy Ken. Like I was telling uh, Hustle Mom, first thing I did, I was riding around the track and I was throwing payday candy bars at the bitches. Like, hey man, make it a payday Pimpy Ken. Make it a Pimpy Ken payday bitch, you know. And put all my cars on the track, you know, bitches walking over my cars, you know, talking about some, I don't want to be out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they were dodging uh, business cars, you know, and man, every time I knocked them niggas, I put a motherfucking ketchup bottle right by their wheel say nigga your game will never be thick as mine mine is thick as high as nigga you know what I'm saying and maybe they just really you know they just really start respecting me but this was the town and it's the town I first got knocked this is the town where I really built my reputation and my mm -hmm. name and you know you just it's just like any like the penitentiary you know you got the you know you come in there you got to get your shank you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. You, you got to get your lock in the sock right. you know what I'm saying to. you got to get ready to go to fight you know what I'm saying so that's what I did man and uh you know, uh, I became uh, legendary in this town, and you know, uh, it's a lot of good brothers. You know, Mackie, Jap, you know, New York Ice. You know what I'm saying, Bobby, all them niggas. I got a chance to meet all them, and you know, a whole host of other brothers. Man, I can't say everybody's name because I'm getting a little old. I can't remember like I used to. Yeah, I ain't see now. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got uh, what they call it. Uh, uh, Alzheimer's. A pimp Simon's. You know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, you know, so. Yeah, that shit wouldn't. That shit ain't cool, man. Uh, 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 I know. I know. Uh, I, I know. Uh, Rollo. Uh, uh, Rollo just trying to keep it pimping, man. But Rollo, man, don't be lying, man. You know that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 hey, man, that's the worst thing you can do. And I'm pretty sure that most people understand, man. You you sit in the house, right? You got your gators on. You you job. You put your little motherfucking creed on. You ready to get ready to hit the blade? And uh, so you call it. You checking your motherfucking trap. See. Hey, 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 what it look like? You know what I'm saying? You trying to see what the money look like? No answer. You know what I'm saying? Bam, no answer. You get to Damn. call the you call the police station, you call the hospital, <laughs> you, know, you call the old folks home. You know what I'm saying? You call everything. You like, where is this bitch, man? You know what I'm saying? This bitch that got out of what? You know what I'm saying? This nigga call you like, what you want, man? What's up? You know what I'm saying? Your partner's like, oh, this nigga, then you get to ride around, you look at that nigga's funny, like, nigga, you got the bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And those niggas be like, ah, oh, man, I nah, ain't got you know, then you know, finally she call you like, oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, like, <laughs> you know, you, you know I mean, don't nobody want that phone call, right. man. That's the worst mm -hmm. thing in the world because you know, a lot of niggas don't tell the truth, but when you really, really pivot, 
You know what I'm saying? You pimping day by day. Day by you know day. What I'm Especially when you're young. So, you know, you didn't tuck her. Y'all done went to the jury store. She done picked out some jewelry. You done picked out some jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Me, y'all done upgrade. Y'all done flipped the Cadillac for a bins. Now the note went from 500 to to $1,000 a month. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Me, now you like, man, I got all these bills. You staying at the, at, you, you ain't at the Motel City. You staying at the Hilton or time. at the Four Seasons. So, you know, mm-hmm. your pimping feeling really good. And that bra don't make that phone call. <laughs> man, that's the worst. Worst feeling in the world. He's like, damn, I'm gonna pay for this hotel. I'm gonna pay for my car. Right. You know, and, and, and so any nigga that tell you that he 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 like a servant, it's cool. Now I tell you what I do, I did do. I always tell the bro, hey, look, if you so happen to make a choice, you know what I'm saying, you, you want to get out on me, you know, you know, give the dude my number, help him call me so I can know where you at. And I won't mm-hmm. be calling the hospital and calling all these places looking for you. So I kept it pimping on that because you know yes. when you pimping, see, worst thing you could do when you pimping, you don't want to lie to a hoe. You know, you got to, you know, I want a bitch wide awoke while I'm pimping. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> right. you know I'm saying, hey, look, this could happen, that could happen, this could happen. You know, you go to jail, this could happen. You might right. go to jail. And when the bitch know the truth, she going to hold up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not blow up. You know what right. I mean? That's that's why most of the bitches I deal with stay with me four or five years because but, I kept but it so Ronald real. But said that, that he, he, when we was talking about it, uh, he said sometimes you'll even, like you said, you you happy he called because you know she's not in the hospital or not not locked up. But he said he, he, would, happy he, said he would go as far as telling them what she like. Like, you know, she like this it or dep- she might need that or she it, might need this. But it depends. Yes. If, 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 if HB knocked me, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to spin him. You know, like I get, I get a sample, man. I shouldn't say this, but, you know, it's... it's over 30 years ago it's one nigga man you know I say I talked about it in my book he a fly nigga may rest in peace you know what I'm saying he a fly nigga you know what I'm saying he a lot of jewelry you know pretty nigga light skinned nigga you know what I'm saying you know you know typical shit back in the early you know late 70s and shit you know so one of the bras was fucking with me uh, you know she, she, she didn't get out on me she made a mad move so a mad move said she didn't want to be with me no more you know what I'm saying so she didn't choose up so when she left me you know, he end up with her. So, you know what I'm saying, after she had left me. So, when he when he end up with her, you know what I'm saying, he said, yeah, man, you know, it's a courtesy call. That's that's what you call a courtesy call. It ain't a servant. He said, it's a courtesy call. He said, yeah, man. He said, man, you know, uh, yeah, I got the bitch, and uh, you know what I'm saying, man, I just want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, you know, that the bitch don't, you know, woo, 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 oh, you're pimping and nothing like that, right? Now, I knew this nigga, you understand me, was getting in the game, but he really was double-breasted. So he had work on this end, he had the bitch on this end, so he was selling dope. Yeah. Every time I smell a nigga, he smell like cocaine. I was like, damn, nigga smell like a kilo. You know what I mean? Nigga smell like straight dope, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I said, this nigga know he's selling dope, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I'm saying, I really didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't you know, I, I didn't respect his pimping so like that. So that's a black eye in the game, if, no. he's, if he hustling and selling yeah, dope? No, no, that's, that's okay. called, that's called uh, double-breasted, being double-breasted, mixing the game, right? So, so, I, I, now, 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 and that was a bad thing. No, no, no yeah, hell yeah, it's bad because you know you you you, 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 cheat, you cheating everybody that's around you. So, so, so he he get the bra right. He told me bra. So I said, say man, I said, I said, uh, I said man, the bra owed me some money, right? You know what I'm saying? He said, he said, yeah. So I said, yeah, man, let, uh, let, let me put a check in on the bra. Let me pull over here and check it. So he said, yeah, go ahead and check. So I checked the bra, you know, grilled and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I said, cool. You know what I'm saying, me? So he said, hi, right, man, you know. So uh, about a couple weeks later, she called me. She said, yeah, daddy, I want to come back home. I said, come on home, bitch. You know what I'm saying, me? So she came home. I said, before you come home, bitch, I know you know you, know you made a fatal mistake, right? I said, no, I don't respect that nigga pimping at all. She said, yeah, I know, daddy. He ain't no pimp. I said, well, give me the nigga jewelry and give me the money. Mm. So she brought me all his jewelry and all his money. So uh, I told him, I said, say, man. That bitch and got out, right? He said, yeah. I said, man, this bitch and took your jury. He said, she took my jury. I said, yeah, man, all that shit, man. I said, man, come get your jury. So I gave him the jury. He said, yeah, man, did she take some money too? I said, nah, she said the money came from a trick, pill. I said, I ain't giving no money up, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the money come from, right? So he said, all right, man. So, you know, I got the money. I gave him the jury back. He was happy. He had like about, maybe about $100,000 of the jury. It's a lot of jury. So I gave him all the jury back. He said, man, can I check the bra? I said, nigga, I ain't gonna let you check my hoe, nigga. He said, I'll let you check the hoe. I said, no, man. I said, man, you miss pimping, man. I said, man, I'm not gonna let you check this hoe. Right. So in cases like that, you know, I'll put a nigga in a twist. Yeah. But if it's a major pimp or a nigga that's really pimping, then you know, hey, yeah, what's up, man? You know, here go the broad ID, you know what I'm saying? Say, man, you know, here go clothes, you dig, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, man. 
You know, I mean, you're a happy pimping, man. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's serious. So, so, so it, depend, it depends on who, it depends on who, who, who's serving me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now, of course, you know, I've been served way more times since then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But New York, this is the first time I got served. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, uh, but, but, but like, I had this one dude uh, in Dallas, I mean, Houston. Uh, he had two, two white bras. They was on a bis and that. And I peeled them for both of the bras. Older player, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we, uh, he called me and, uh, he asked me, he said, uh, he, now I called him, I served him, and I asked him, I said, say, man, yeah, man, uh, why don't you let me get the bra clothes, man, you know what I'm saying? They said they need, they want the clothes. He said, no, nah, man, I ain't giving them the clothes I paid for them. I said, what you gonna do, well? <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, you finna get to work now, pimp? He said, no, nah, man, I ain't finna get to work, man. I said, well, man, bring them clothes over here. And then the bra said, you got an ID, too. You know, so, I mean, so it's, it depends on, you know, who, who it is. You know, this was a veteran dude. His yeah. son was pimping, you know. So I, I, I treat different niggas when I was, I treat different niggas. Right now, if I didn't like you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to call you, I'm going to serve you, I'm going to talk shit to you and, you know, and, and shit on you and everything. You know, like some niggas, you know, I just, it was some, it was one nigga, I ain't going to say his name, but he know who I'm talking about. I just follow him all over the country. Well, yeah, man, I'm in D.C. Nigga, I be there in 24 hours, nigga. Yeah, nigga, had them hoes down. You know what I'm saying, nigga? And, and, and I said, and I'm going to have some hoes to set. Let know I'm coming to get Yeah, them. so, so I, it, I had rivals like that, you know, and that's a lot of rivals in the game. Where, so you, know, you tell them you let him know I'm coming, nigga. That's Be ready, we, nigga. Because it was, it, it was a no contest. It was a no contest okay. sport, so, sport. So, like, if I wanted Martina, right, and, you know, Kenny Red was fucking with her, I would call Kenny Red. I said, where you at, nigga? He said, oh, nigga, I'm in Oakland. Nigga, I'd be in Oakland in the morning. And I would follow her around the track and sweat all day. And she gonna be like, Kenny Red, Pepper Ken swear me, I can't get no money. He just fucking with me. He, he hollering me while, while I'm around the trick. Well, that nigga was supposed to holler at you around no trick. He's supposed to, man, man, you don't come between the uh, nigga, nigga, get out here and pimp then. You know what I'm saying? It'd be niggas like that. Wow. But, but you know, then it's niggas like, you know. And y'all wouldn't throw down, wouldn't fight. No, nah, because there's no contest for it. But then you got people wow. in the game like, you know, like like Jab and all them niggas, I respected them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas that I respected, you know, and I respected Kenny Red. That was yes, just an absolutely. example, that right? Was just mm -hmm. yeah. Example so, that never happened. So you know, we we we, <laughs> we 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 had respect for each other. You know what I'm saying? We we wouldn't sweat each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? I would never sweat nobody. You know, like a veteran or somebody that's you know officially. They don't show all of this in the movies. When you see movies, it, it seems like they'll go Man, and you can, scratch and listen, listen. shoot somebody. Just, just don't, just don't. On a woman, the book on the woman gonna do ain't been written yet, you know, especially a host. So, you know, you can't write a book in on the, the game because, like I said, if, if 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 I was fuck with Tina, you know what I'm saying, me, we have a different relationship, you know what I mean, because she's gonna respect my game because mm -hmm. the game I'm gonna give her gonna be uplifted, I'm gonna elevate her, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna mm -hmm. upgrade her. But, you know what I'm saying, me, if say somebody ain't got no game, you know what I'm saying, she didn't know automatically. He come and she could, she, you know, they, women, you know, it's in the game, they can smell when you're a sucker, right? If she see him on some sucker shit, she might tell him, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> or nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like you told that one nigga, you know, you just saying the day about something. Yeah, no, ho, nigga, whoa, 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 you know, you remember you saying your mama or something, something you said? Oh, yeah, square. Like, if I was with a square, mm -hmm. you know, I'd rather be with some ism. You know, like, even if we're transitioning, because that's what this is about, our show, transitioning from the streets. But if I was with a square and I couldn't be with one, because the first time he called me a hoe, I'm going to roast him and be like, your grandma, that's why you had about 100 uncles. Your grandma, if she got a dollar for every man she fucked for free, she'll be a billionaire. <laughs> and I'll be in her his feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this ism is going to respect She'll never talk me. to me like that. You know what I'm See saying? I would never talk to the ism. We're going to respect uh, his uh. You know what I'm saying? They're going to lift you up. They're going to love you because they know what you do and what you can do and 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 what you've been through. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And they respect hoes. We are queens. You know, is it a thing where like when say somebody just become, uh, you know, in the game um, trying to understand how to be a hoe? Because a lot of times the strip club, a lot of times would was a different. That's something different. That's totally different. But still, you know, you would see girls that would sometimes go in there and then still be trying to, you know, trying so to push. straddle the fence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So how do y'all look at that? Engage that? Is that how do you do? You look down Are upon taking, that? Taking business away from you? No, it's not. It's no. enough money out here. It's okay. enough tricks out here for everybody. So mm -hmm. see, I, that's not the case. I, I, I like the strip club and I like the track, right? Because you know the track 
is where, you know, where you get famous at. You know what I mean? I, I used to go to the track and you just see so many people from all over the country and so many, you know, so many players, you know, and, and, and niggas in the game, you know, it's like, it was like a, a family reunion, you know what I'm saying? Like, she'd be from uh, Oakland, you know, she'd be from Detroit, she'd be from Chicago, everybody be from all over, and everybody had their best cars, their best Jews on, and we'd be up at four or five o'clock in the morning every night, you know, but, and, but in the strip club, you know, like if you're in a city like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, where the police might be a little bit more hard on Stewart Avenue, on P Street, you know what I'm saying? You you know, if you got the gang, see, when I put a when I when I took my girls to strip club, they didn't go to the dance. Like if if, a, if if the DJ called my girl to dance, she gonna give them fifty dollars. Say go call that rookie bitch. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but she used the strip club as a whole house. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, so yeah. she really she trying to stay you know, in the she, champagne she, she, room. She, yeah, she tried to be in the champagne room. So when they go in the champagne room, I gave them gang. You know what I'm saying? So when they go in the champagne room and still, you know. Uh, 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 you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying, uh, dancing, you know, they, they tell the trick to play with his dick, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Jack yeah. off. And while yeah. he jack it off, you know what I'm saying, she telling him one thing that we're going to do this, we're going to do that, but she knows she can't do that because there's a security guard right there. But, you know, he can put his hand in his pants and jacket, but while she's doing that, she said, can I order soda? So she order soda, and on, on every slip is a gratuity. So she'll write a gratuity for Thousand, two thousand. We never yeah, write the same yeah. one because they can do a charge back. So she might leave out that one room, and before that trick even know it, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get played for about three, four thousand. Yeah, you know right, what yeah. I'm because the bitch got game. Because I got game. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Then, then if if he a live one, you know what I'm saying? She'd take him to Walmart, take him to a uh, uh, Target, and get uh, iPhones and all kind of shit. You know, because all that shit could be transferred to money. That's still right. that's still a trap. You know. Mm -hmm. And then she. You know, if you're a live, live trick, you take them to the road. Like, then if that didn't work, I have her take them to the casino. And then all casinos let you get money off of your credit card, you know, with a 15% uh, surcharge. So yeah. she'd get them about 10, 15,000 out of the, the, the thing. So, you know, it's called running the trick up. Yeah, so a lot yeah. of bras, you know what I'm saying, you know, they go to the strip club to dance, you know. I always had them to pay the, the DJs off and they would never dance. Or if, you know, they trying to, like, if, if, if Tina you know, was with me and say this girl named was Cheryl and Cheryl was just a square, but she had a trick that was live. She would pay the DJ to call her up so she could leave the trick and then she'd pull the trick and take him back in the VIP room, break him for three, four thousand. So it's the, it depends on the level yeah, of game. Yeah, right. yeah. You know so the strip I mean? club can be a, a, a valued asset when it come down to the game. Yeah, I got, oh, yeah, I got 30,000 in one night out of the club. Ooh. Ooh. Niggas in Dallas will tell you, in your hometown, they'll tell you, yeah, ask Valentino. <laughs> I broke, I broke the record. You broke, broke the record? I broke the record in Dallas. 30,000 mm, 30, one night. 30,000 in one night. Yeah, just straight game. You know, no pussy selling, nothing but straight, straight game. Straight game. Football nigga, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> NFL, you know what I'm saying? I mean, tore his ass out, put a new <laughs> hole, gave him the hole that his mama had and the hole that we gave him. <laughs> you know, he had two assholes when I got through with him. He was a big ass asshole. You know what I'm saying, but, but you know this is this is not to promote pimping. So for all full disclosure, I'm no longer pimping. You know what yeah, I mean? Correct. Correct. Both are tired. But I just want to just I, I tell people these stories and I talk about them in my books, not to glorify the game, just to show people that you know it's different levels to everything. You know what I'm saying? I could you know just like I'm doing books now. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, we doing documentaries, documentaries. You know, we're doing podcasts. You know, it's different levels. So you know what I'm saying? Me, my goal. Uh, uh, 50 Cent, you know, may, that's my main man, you know, may, may, may he, uh, he, he hear this, you know what I'm saying? He told me, he said, Ken, I, I was bragging to him one day, we were shooting the PIP video, I was, yeah, nigga, yeah, pimp step hoes down, nigga, biggest show ever, nigga, you know what I'm saying, nigga, you got the right nigga here. And 50 <laughs> looked at me, said, Ken, do it again. And I said, what you mean do it again? He said, you only get one time to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so what I got it from that is that you got to reinvent yourself. That's so, hard. So ever since I met him, I've been reinventing myself. And I think that that's the part of the game that a lot of niggas miss. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, like, you know, I, when I was doing 40 million records, I was on everybody's album. I said, I got to go to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Then I started getting into real estate, into daycares, you know, made millions in that game. Then I got tired of that bullshit. Then I said, man, let me go do something different. Then mm -hmm. I went to Dallas and opened up me a, a store up there. Sure you did. Know, and then bought a, a lot of property in mm -hmm. Texas, you know, mm -hmm. bought a house in Richardson, you know what I'm saying? Got tired of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Came here 
and uh, st- came to Atlanta, started the hip hop fraternity. So I'm always reinventing myself, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And that's how you stay relevant. You know, you can't, you know, you, you're gonna play out in certain areas. When you play out, you gotta know how to flip and go to another level. Yes. And I think that that's, you know, one of the things that I learned. So when, you know, when I tell people about the game, it's about transitioning, showing like, yeah, nigga, you know, when I was pimping, nigga, you know what I'm saying, I got millions. I went platinum off the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, niggas went platinum, got platinum CDs. I had a platinum CD before they ever, it was called Pussy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I mean, everybody in my neighborhood, that you know, I can't lie on this camera. I'm the, the one that came through with the Rolls Royces, the Maseratis, you know, the brand new Benz, you know, the jury, $100,000 bust down. Before niggas even know what $100,000 bust down was, I lived like an NBA player off the game. So the game went bad to me. You know, I was just telling niggas, you know, how the levels of the game, mm-hmm. you know, because cause the game that I had, Maybe one or two niggas knew what the, how to do what I do, uh, know how to groom their bitch to do what I taught my bitches to do. You know what I'm saying? Because it, cause they can't wrap their brain around it. A lot mm-hmm. of motherfuckers got a ton of vision. A lot of motherfuckers stuck like Chuck. You know what I'm saying? They stuck on stupid. You know what I'm saying? So when you try to tell, elevate them, because you know, I told plenty of niggas, like, man, you know, can't I'm fucked up, man. I said, man, this is what you do. Man, go in no strip club, man. I'll fuck that carpet, man. This bitch on the blade. The bitch got to pat her feet on the concrete, man. Hey, man, if the bitch ain't getting off the track, I don't want it, man. Mm-hmm. But they stay said, Ken, you know, Send me a jug. So I'm sending these niggas jugs all the time. I'm giving them money, but they don't understand, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm trying to get you the game. You know what I'm saying? Man. Man? And they just, they just, they do, they couldn't take it like a fish can't take it to the earth. Hustle mom. Yes. Man, you know, you went through a lot, you know. You you lost your uh your man, you know, uh your husband. Was y'all married? I'm gonna me. leave that in the book. Okay. Okay, but I'm but I just but that. but but I mean just just uh well give me a spill on what what, what can we talk about? But I wanted to go back because yeah. you know how I like I like to go back to I want to know where you where you were raised how you were raised because oh yeah that's how she do it yeah because he know that know, already yeah <laughs> we have, I, I know your story because I got that out of you mm-hmm. I need your story me being exposed to the game everything at a young growing age. up. You know, yeah, but I don't. I don't feel sorry for myself. It's just this is the cards I was dealt with. Like this is who I seen coming up. You know, pimps, players, ballers, shot callers, where, you, where holes, were you born? Boosters. Sacramento, California. Sacramento, California. Fun. Northern your, California. With your mother. With my mother working three jobs, but I have brothers that are teenagers. You know, like you know your mom. Mm-hmm had her first child at 16 and then had me at 40. So I have mm. brothers and sisters that are far apart. Yes. And a sister that was pregnant at the same time when my mom was pregnant, mm. she was 18. But you would think that cause when your mom have you older, she has more tolerance. She know a lot about raising a child and so forth. But she was busy cause you know, my father, where know, was he? He was absent in my life, but he was there for the, older teenagers mm. so I probably was like keep that man by having a baby mm-hmm. but it didn't work my dad my mom and so dad, he didn't spend no time with you none at all but no. you knew him you knew who he was I knew who he was he was just I seen him like one time and um it was you know he it, it was crazy because how old I, were you when you saw him that one time I was like about seven years old and you remember that and I remembered it so good, but my, my heart was crushed because he treated me different than the other children because he tried to accuse my mom for having a relationship and saying that I wasn't his child, but he knew I was because me and my sister are ghetto twins. We 14 months apart, we look like twins. Mm-hmm. But he was doing that to mess with my mom. Right. But not knowing that it affects children. Exactly. You know, and the father I had were my brothers, my pimp brothers that I looked up to that made sure that they looked out for their little sisters. Mm-hmm. And, and I thought the world of them, you know, mm-hmm. and seeing all these fancy cars and these beautiful women and, um, you know, people may, you know, look down on it, but at least I wasn't molested. Right. My mom didn't leave me with, you know, Pastor Jenkins down the street, mm-hmm. you know, and um, so... I got a lot of game, you know, at a young age. I I learned how to speak ism. I, I you know, that's the language. Right, right. You know that we speak. So as, so growing up as a child, what did you want to be when you grew up cuz you were exposed to that life at a young age, but I'm no, sure but that's not Yeah, what, I was a, I had a good, you know, childhood and stuff, but I always thought about money. Mm-hmm. I always wanted money. I was like 
a gold digger mm -hmm. just to keep it 100 and funky with you. Mm -hmm. I was born a gold digger with a shovel in my hand, like just <laughs> wanting the money. You know, and then, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you want that you know, bread. It's like some people are in a cult. Data. You know what I mean? But this ism is a religion to me. You know, and um, it's a religion. The ism is a religion to me. You know, because I was raised on it and seen how much money came from it, and um, it, it. You know, I had a good childhood. I was, you know, in drill team and cheerleader, but I always was a snooty madooty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have nothing for me, I ain't talking to you, boy. You know, and my brothers had me fucked up in the head like that. It's so funny because. I saw a post on Instagram. I don't, I don't. I didn't share that with you, and it was a show. They were interviewing people on the streets, and they interviewed these two young ladies, and were asking them what kind of guys they would talk to. And one of them said, "If you don't have money, well, for her, if you didn't have money or in a gang, because her brothers, like what you're saying, is so just the same way. Spoil me, they give me this, 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 this. So if you can't come with it, don't even try to step." And so exact the same way. Or brainwash. You know what I I'm saying? It. I get it. And I and I can I can accept that. I don't need no sit down with Ayana Van Zant. You know what I'm saying? Because I know who I am and I know where I came from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So yeah. Because some people always feel like the way how you turn up is always like they're looking for the traumatic thing that happened to you nothing, when you were yes. younger. And nothing never. I had the bit my refrigerator stayed full, but like some people, they would be like, um, I'll be like, come over to my house and play. They'd be like, mm-mm. Like they're going to walk in the door and just come out a hoe, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> because it was like pimps and hoes and all kind of shit going right. on. Dope dealers. and But it was money and nice cars and everything. And uh, it wasn't no raids at the house or none of that. But I'm like, well, you want me to come to your house and your daddy is a crackhead and your auntie is a drunk and it's all these crazy other things going on at your house, but you don't want to come to my house. Mm -hmm. And we can eat all the food we want and you guys ain't got nothing but an onion and an ice cube and they fighting. Mm. But you talking about all of the good things or the things that you saw, which is the money and the cars and stuff that, you know, you glorified, you I glamorized glorified it. it. Yes. But I'm sure but with all of that, comes the bad stuff too yes, so did you not see all of that abusive relationship yeah um, people uh, people getting arrested certain, people certain, passing away dying thing, pimp, getting like, shot like, um, like pimps, uh, you didn't see that you hear about abuse a lot of, of times of course we did of course I did you but know you didn't care about it that you was mean, I mean like it's where you live you know what I'm saying it's, it, I was raised around mm -hmm. pimps ballers hoes boosters mm -hmm. scammers you know what I mean yeah that's what yeah, we looked up yeah. to Simps. You know, <laughs> was some simps simps. around there. Yeah. Was some mm -hmm. Simpson Trizics or Resound this air, but you know what I'm saying? For the most part. For the <laughs> most part, but that's what I seen. And that's what motivated mm -hmm. me so, to mm -hmm. want money and just break on boys. And then, like, my last interviews you've seen, um, like, my brother would tell me, don't let a boy have sex with you because if he has sex with you and don't give you no money, he going to talk shit about you. But if he give you some money, he going to tell nobody that secret. Mm -hmm. And then he going to give you some more and some more. Because guess what? He invested. Mm -hmm. Man. He's invested. He's invested. He's well, invested. That, well, well, you that, know, I, was, I was talking about these abuse and all type of stuff that happened. You know, you, you find some dudes that may be hustling. And maybe abusive to the woman and all yeah, kind of so stuff. It is out so there. It's, so it's all yeah. kind of ways. Well, you, know what, you know what, though? I could honestly say, man, that uh, I can count on my hand, you know, the physicalities that I had with a woman. You know, a lot of times, man, you know, when you do it right, you know, like I, I talk about my man, Pimpin' Pope, you know, he, I, when, you know, I told you I went to jail, right? Yeah. So he went to jail. There was another guy named Pimpin' Sam. Pimpin' Sam had knocked him for one of the bras. And, uh, you know, the bra went back to uh, to Pimpin' Pope because Pimpin' Pope, you know, was a real pimp. And Sam, you know, he didn't understand why this bra was wiping his face and, and having his shoes when he, you know, get out the bed and cooking his food when his stomach growled. You know, just a real in pocket bitch. You know right. what I'm saying? Her name was Juanita. She also went to school with me. You know, she was one of my. It's crazy. All of them dead though. It's weird. I'm talking about them. All of them are dead. God bless them. So, uh, so Juanita chose up on Sam. And so uh, Pope ended up, he jumped on his car like, yeah, nigga, you ain't no pimp and Pope, you know, gangster, right? Pope, 
pop that sh- pop that thing on. He shot him off the car. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And Sam ended up in a wheelchair. So I'm I'm That's in awful. I'm in jail in, in Pope. He my celly. And you know, he told me, he said, Ken, man, he said one thing about this pimping, man. He said, man, you know, ain't no difference between the in pocket hole and the out pocket out of pocket hole. He said, treat all holes the same. He said, you know, he said, stay firm on your pimping. You know, he said, you know, he said, put a meat on your Peter, man, because the longer bitch stays, the longer she got to pay. He said, go to the hospital and get a, a triple bypass, have all the sympathy move out your heart. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep it pimping. You know what I'm saying, man? And he said, also, he said, man, you know, he said, man, don't give up your trophies. He said, like B.B. King say, you know, don't let them try you before they buy you. You know, because if they do, the thrill is gone. So this is what he had taught me. I was 19, you know what I'm saying, me, when this shit was going on, 20 years old. So when I came home, you know what I'm saying, me, you know, I don't care if she was fine as wine in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if she's so fine she could catch a felony because of her beauty. You know, it didn't make a difference to me. You know what I'm saying, me? I treat them all the same. If I had an ugly, ugly, ugly bitch, I mash on the same way if I had a pretty, pretty bitch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know, be, you know, rubbing her, her booty while the other bitches were looking and no, just playing with her feet. You know what I'm saying? So I kept it real. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Every broad that was in the game was like, you fuck with Pim and Ken, you know, Ken Ivy, they called me, you know, he, he, he 100. You know what I'm saying? He the same, you know, he, you know, and I just, you know, I kept it pimping. All the hoes had to get up at the same time. They got to get in the shower, you know, watch the trick from last night off their ass. If they didn't do it, you know, when they first came in, you know, just stay Stay clean, stay fresh, and go out there and get some money. And you know, it wasn't no favoritism. Me and you fit to go eat a pizza or something, you know. And I think that that kind of keep the violence down. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, when you keep it real. Does. And you know, so I had I had very few instances of violence. Only time I hit a woman if she get too disrespectful. You know, yeah, she try to yeah. come come up on me, trying to right. fight me. I'm a I'm have to you know discipline them because now I got other people watching your behavior. So right. I got to let these other bras know you can't. You know, this ain't what's happening. But you know, I, I never had those problems. So yeah. you know, but I I got friends, man, that beats the hell out of me. That's girls. what I was saying. And Everybody, I, know, I never too. understand. I'm like, man, one dude, man, he beat this girl up, man. She had two black eyes. Or she, she was on the track. I'm saying, yeah, no, we was in the hotel. No, I'm saying like when she after yeah, yeah, that, he let her heal up or no, what? No, he had to let her sit in the, in the hotel for three, four, five days to heal yeah. up. So I'm saying, dude, why would you beat up on your on, on your on, on your product when you got to get out there and say, nah, man, that bitch ain't gonna disrespect me, you know? And I, I know most men that do like that, they got issues with their mama. They got that's mama right, issues. That's you know what I'm right, saying? That's they, right. hate, they hate their mama. They hate somebody, some woman that did something to them. So they taking it out on, on their folks. You know what I'm saying? You can tell because, you know, you can tell the ones that that, that did that. Because, you know, you got, you know, some good, especially in uh, your town in Dallas, it was some good peas, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them dudes, man, you know, they, they had the best cars, the best clothes. You very seldom hear, you know, they brought saying anything negative about them because they was, they were happy hookers. They was happy at home. Right. So, you know, but, you know, a lot of dudes, man, they like, you know, you got it's serial statistics. killers. You know, you got you got you got serial dudes that, that beat women. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And that, like you know, it and get off. Let on me it. let me ask y'all this, man, because the game didn't change so much. You know, back in the days, we didn't have the rap audience, but now the rappers come into play, which is a lot of them tricking too, a big tricking, mm. huge tricking. Like like how did. And and you might can answer. You I might can. Lot, I got a lot saying, of that advance money. That's what I'm saying. Like how how do? <laughs> yeah, a lot of rappers have paid me, man. Like, I, like no these, I gotta ask this. Like how do you rap? You know how, how's that maneuvering in the game? You know they come to a city near you. They got a show. We need a hoe. Well, you, you got to remember. Yeah. Hey, what thing a lot of people don't know? I know a lot of rappers, right? <laughs> I've been around a lot of rappers. You got to remember, man, I wasn't just around them. You know what I'm saying, me? I wasn't just around there. I was down there. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> me? And a lot of, you know, I ain't going to say their names, you know, but, man, at least 80% of them dudes be screaming they pimping on their raps be tricks. You know, I had this one, I ain't going to say it because he know who I'm talking about, but, uh, <laughs> But you know, yeah, man, them niggas, man, they talk all that shit, man. They scream that pimp shit, man. But them niggas be flat back tricks, you know what I'm saying? And they, and they, you know, I'm telling you, man, you know, I went on tour with this one group. I ain't gonna say the name, but them niggas was spending money like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You know, cash money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, they were spending cash money. <laughs> so when it get to a point like like some 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 of when they when they pull they up when they pull oh up oh my god yeah they want to get to it you they know? use the word pimp so loosely and they use the word hole so loosely and that really really pisses me off because you a slut and you're not a pimp you're a gangbanger you're a hole hustler 
you're not a real pimp because somebody serve you the news, you're ready to kill them. Mm-hmm. You know, like Ken said, a real one is going to accept it. Correct. Get a bitch There's her a ID, protocol. her clothes, all that shit. But back to the beatings. Now, I got to ask whooping because I went on a high speed chase, but I wasn't one of those t- type of females that got beat up. You know what I mean? High speed chase? Yes, with uh, with my uh, with my folks. So, really? Yes, it was awful. But... Anyway, so he had to get me and show his friends. You know what I'm saying? Like when you say on a high speed chase, you were running from him. Yeah, I was running yeah, that's from what, him. Yeah, so yeah. you you trying to get away? Just every time he called, you don't want to be. No, a- I had ran off, and so I was like, you know, doing my own thing. I was in Beverly Hills at the Beverly Wilshire. Mm-hmm. You know, handling my business at the bar. You know, freelancing on the carpet. Yeah, not on the track. The carpet mm-hmm. in Beverly Hills, and so I got my money. And on my way out, my wife-in-law snitched on me and told where I was. Mm. And so when I'm leaving, I see him. We both made eye contact. And he just jumped over to, um, you know, the island and mm-hmm. just started coming after me. And I just was, like, running for my life. I was spooked. I was scared. I was scared. I could have, a lot of things could have happened, but it didn't. Thank you, God. Did he and get you back? In yes, he did get how his long did back. It, how long did the chase last? It was for about 10 minutes until the ghetto birds came and the police came and then he maneuvered and got away. And I was like, oh, damn, so in distress. I didn't tell him, but (laughs) I was just acting like a square. And this man, I don't know who he was chasing me, you know, so I wasn't giving no names up. But he caught me two days later because he mm-hmm. know everything you know a real pimp gonna know they, they bitch court dates yeah, yeah. All that shit. So I had a court date and so i went to the court date and he was in there wow and he was so nice to me of and course he in front of everybody yeah he was nice to me and i was like you mad at me no it's okay da, da, da. took me to mm-hmm. roscoe's and ate got me some weed down at slauson swapped me you know and everything got me back to the room and blended me up wow. in front of his pimp friends. Because they was like, you don't ever get that bitch. That bitch don't ever do nothing. But this time I did. So, yeah. So I did get it. But that was never a frequent thing for me. But, you know, this is like something that I, you know, never told nobody on camera. Yeah, but I'm telling y'all. Yeah, that's and all. It never happens again. Keep it 100 and yeah. funky. Yes, I got blended the fuck up mm, for being wow. out of pocket, for running off, and for having a high speed chase. Wow, you and know, the, the and that's what normally would happen. And I accepted my you know, penalty. Mm. Yes, I accepted Wait, it. You know, I always tell guys, man, don't never let your intelligence, don't never let your emotions supersede your intelligence, right? You know, when you're dealing with a, a woman, you know what I'm saying, you always got to remember the emotional factor, right? She's very emotional. Like I was telling them earlier, I told Ice-T, I said, you know, God gave a, a woman the same thing. He gave her mm-hmm. a, a skunk, a white stripe and a belly full of funk. You know what I'm saying? You know, so she can be real, get real down and funky with you. So, you know, you got to remember your intelligence is here and your emotions is here. They're not in the same place. Anytime you do something emotionally, that's an impulse. You know what I'm saying? That's an impulse. You know, that's a you know, that, that, that's an emotional impulse. So you don't never make the right decisions. It's always good. You know, this is for the young people that's that's doing that stupid shit beating on right. the girl. Yeah. You know, it's always good to sit back and just give yourself 10 seconds. I call it a 10 second rule and breathe. And you know what I'm saying? Think the situation out. Because if you can reason, you know, God gave all us ability to reason. I talk about, you know, an ox. You know, ox is the most strongest animal you know, on the planet. You know what I'm saying? He's strong as an ox. Right. But you know what I'm saying? If I put a gun to an ox head as a hunter and I was hunt- hunting that ox, that ox ain't got enough sense to know mm-hmm. that he's being hunted. So when I shoot him in his head, he don't know if it'll be some ox tails. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, you know, you yes. put a a, 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 a a lion, you know, in a situation where you put you cut a cow in half, you put the cow in the cage and that lion looking at that cow, he don't know that it's a cage. He goes in there, he smell the blood, he go and he tack the cow. He don't know he's gonna be somebody's zoo animal. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But we have intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Me? So that 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 line can be you in the penitentiary. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me? That I could be you getting killed by her brother. You know what I'm saying? That might feel like you violating his sister. So we got to use our intelligence. And I always thought about that. I always thought about jail and I always thought about what if her daddy or her brother, somebody or her cousin, somebody, mm-hmm. you know, got a problem with me. So if a woman is that 
disrespectful if she's that out of pocket. You know, if you if you listening and you're young and you out there doing stupid shit, just think that it may not be the person for you. Right. That's Sometimes real. you know you gotta let a person go. You know, women just always say that 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 they love me. I say you love me. You sure? He <laughs> said, yeah, I love you. I said, you want to pay the love test? He said, yeah. I said, okay, come on. Let's go to the swimming pool. So I go to the swimming pool, and I say, you love me? He said, yeah. I said, come on. I put her head in the water. And I said, oh, you love me? Yeah, I love you. Put it back in there. You love me? No, I love her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. They, you, know, they don't, you know, people don't know what they love. They think they love something. They think, you know what I'm saying, that they, they doing this. But, you know, it might be something different. So sometimes, you know, people say things in their mouth, out their mouth, but they don't really mean in their heart. And that's where you got to be wise. And that's one thing that I, you know, that's why I last so long. That's why I never called a P case. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I never beat on nobody and do no crazy shit like that. Because I always thought about my freedom first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then I always thought, you know, you know, like I got some, some women that I deal with. I'm cooler with their brothers to this day. Yeah. yeah. Than yeah. I was with with, 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 the, with the female. Because I would always, you know, you know, uh, holler at them and, and reach out to them, make sure they was cool. You know, what I mean, I, I check on the mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, know, you, yeah. You know, it's all science. It's all game. It's all about using your reasoning faculty. You got to be a thinking man. It's chess, not checkers. Always, every every move I make, I make ten steps ahead. Nice. So if a bra mess with me on day one, by day thirty, she's straight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be a sequential order. I'm a I'm a build up in chronological order. You know what I'm saying? Me and she gonna have she gonna like she been getting her hair done at the ghetto mall. I'm having getting the hair done by by it might be by Tina Martina who got you know mm -hmm. real extensions you know what I'm saying get her nail done at 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 a, at a different person I elevated place, you know yes. what I'm saying she, mm -hmm. if she got pay less shoes you know, I'm an elevator you know what I'm saying and and have her you know wearing the best shoes and you know and she, you know you just got as you should yeah it's all about elevation and as that you that that helps that stops the fighting too yes it does mm -hmm. let me some like like I remember you and and it's a little bit off subject but it's still in in, in context like. Um, the movies where it wasn't movies; it was player balls or whatever. Mm -hmm. They bring the girls out. Right. So I remember them. She wouldn't look up. You know, they have three girls or whatever. They wouldn't look up at no other man and all kind of stuff. No other pill. You know, all this different things was going on back in the day. You, I don't think we'll ever see those times again where they have these. You know, all the all of the peas come together and really. You know what I'm saying? Really, when yeah. it was going down, the it's worst, over, man. The worst thing. No, the game is not dead. Hold it's on, the players. On, I just want to say this. I, I agree with you on this. The worst thing that ever happened to the game was Pimp Sub Hose Down America, Pimp. I regret, I, seen it. I regret doing both of those movies because what that did, they gave niggas a, 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 a pass to get on the internet and just talk about the game. So now, you know what I'm saying, me, when, when, when I was coming up, the catch had come before the hanging. So if Tina see me in a Rolls Royce and she, she said, I wonder who you play for, you know, or right. I wonder who is that, you know what I'm saying? So she might be a square. You know what I'm saying? But I talk to her, you know, you know, I take her out to eat, you know what I'm saying? We I groom her, we'll get a, a conversation, we call her an interview, I give her an interview, and then next day I know I said, I want to take you somewhere. Where you going? I want to let introduce you to somebody. So I'm introducing her to her potential wife in laws. You know right. what I'm saying? Me, and she's like, Oh, you a pimp. But you know, at this point, you know what I'm saying, she got a decision to make if she wanna get turned out, if she wanna fuck with the game, right? You know what I'm saying? Me, but you know, that shit. You know, ain't like that no more. You try to talk to a young niggas talk to a go on, boy, please, boy. I I I, I just bought Pippa Kim book. You know what I'm saying? I listen to Don Juan. You know what right. I'm saying? Me, I, I listen to Kenny Red. You know, I'm 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 rocking with a a a a a Brown, Gangsta Brown, a Virgil. You know what I'm saying? Feel more slim. So they don't have to go through the rigorous process of getting to know a P like it was before. It was a secret society. So yes, yeah, absolutely. all that shit, you know, is gone from the perspective that Cause you talk about. No, yeah, yeah, me and all of us, I was I, I, You listen, one of the main contributors to it. Everybody know. I was, know. No, I was a conspiracy. Red too. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah, a conspiracy. Y'all y'all let him get out the bag. I, I, I was a contributor. I was a contributor and I, and I, and I tell people that all the time on I regret ever doing that movie, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and then and on another, another, it changed my life, you know, like I said, the roads that you take to get to your destiny is not the ones that take you, it's going to your detour. Mm -hmm. So it changed my life, you know, and it gave me, it just set my life on a different trajectory. But at the same time though, you know, I mean, it was probably good that, you know, it was exposed because, you know, they got these new laws called human trafficking now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, so, you're right. So, you know what I mean? Now they're giving our life. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? It's good right. that the bras is not as receptive to the game as they used to be. 
You know what I'm saying? Something about that. Yeah, it's Ken, man. See, see, people get this game misconstrued. See, everything we do is by choice, not by force. See, when you start forcing a female to do something, then that's sex trafficking. Yeah. You know, and they do have those out there. And God bless those girls that be snatched up and, you know, sold, you know, to the black market. And um, I'm just grateful that nothing like that ever happened to me. Never but, there's a thin, no. but there's a thin line because um, what I see them doing a lot is if the person that was um, so-called taken away is underaged. And even although sometimes they say, I want to go. They'll say, well, you're too young to know, you know, and they'll turn it, the case around to make it seem like they were forced to. But you know what they used to do Jamaica? And brainwash. Right, exactly. You know what they used to do Jamaica? Like, say for instance, if uh, Vado brought an underage bitch to the mm-hmm. track and she was nine, she was 17. <coughs> mm-hmm. About to be 18. Every, every pimp on the track would be like, don't fuck with that bitch. Mm-hmm. That's how it used to be. Like, that yes. bitch, they call, they call it, they say, she's an under. That mm-hmm. bitch an under. So right. when nobody Jail fuck with bait. her and she would have to get off the blade. Okay. But right. nowadays, you know what I'm saying? I mean, these They'll young boys, whatever. they want to be in the game so bad. They don't We care. fucked the game up so bad with pimps up, hold down American pimp. They want that, you know, like if you look at uh, Goldie, remember Goldie? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. So when you look at Goldie, if you look at pimps up, hold down, and you look at me and, and pimps up, that was my Goldie moment, you know? You know, I was Goldie in Pimps Up Holes Down. You know, one of the international oh, players. Yeah. So, but, but, but check this out. I got out the game right after that. Now what's happening? Everybody looking for that Goldie moment. Everybody right. want to be that pimp of the year. Right. Everybody want to be mm-hmm. that superstar mm-hmm. pimp. And them days is gone. You see what I'm saying, me? And that's why these young dudes is banging these underage bitches. They just want to get to the money and they on the, they all on the line. Yeah, yeah, pimp it, man. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, got the bitch, you know, and all that. And they don't know that they're incriminating themselves. You know what I'm saying? You know, these folks then went to Congress and made all kind of laws, and these niggas don't even know human trafficking. If you if you mess with underage bitch, that's uh, that's that's human trafficking. If you take a girl to the strip club, that's human trafficking. If you live it off the earning of human trafficking. If Tina came to me and chose up and Vadu turned her out, they could get me and Vadu for uh, mm-hmm. for messing with it because they make it retroactive. It's like what they done is every time they lock a pimp up, it's like they used to lock a drug dealer up. You know, a pimp would try to talk his way out of it, and he said, "Man, I ain't doing nothing." Woo-woo. And then they figured out they said, "Okay." This is how we need to fight this law. This is what they doing. They hiding the bitches in the strip club. Oh, they hiding them on arrows. Oh, they hiding them on backstage. Right. And they building the case as they go. Because if you look at the human traffic laws, at first it was only underage bitch and uh, you know uh, uh, you know kidnapping. Now it didn't escalate it to all levels of human traffic, right? right? So it, so so what do that mean? If Tina chose up on me. Real live hoe, you know what I'm saying? Me straight up, you know, I'm fucking with your pimping type shit, right? She can choose up on me, but she now have the power to destroy me. Wow. What that means is that 20 years ago, Tina could have ran to the police and said, he a pimp, he a pimp. Well, we need two or more girls. You know, we got to prove it. He a pimp, he a pimp. Well, we got to, you got to give him, take you across the, the cross state line. That's called the man act. You know what I'm saying? Those were the, the, the bar for the district attorney. Now all she have to do is say I'm her pimp. And all I got to do is she said, Ken, come to the hotel. And if she's on Euro or she got any type of tra- traces of hoeing, now they can hit me with human traffic. I'm facing life. So, so actually, a lot of the young guys is in danger because the women got the power now. Yeah. They can, they can t- if they turn a nigga in, and guess what they tell them? Hey, Tina, I know you with pimping Ken. I know he's your pimp. I know that you, you know what I'm saying, he don't force you to do this. But check this out. You got three kids. You got one kid. You got a brand new uh, newborn. Look, we're going to drop everything on you. All we want is Ken. And we're going to give you some money. And we're going to put you in a, a, a whole protection program. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they're doing it now. So the average girl, you know what I'm saying? And the way they treat them, they treat them. They, you know, these are psychologists. They talking to them like they little girls. They're making them feel sorry. Right. We know this ain't your choice. Right. We know you was molested. We know this. And that young lady, you know what I'm saying? If she not sharp and she not groomed and the dude not groomed, then he go off to prison, state, federal penitentiary, with, 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 with 10, 20 years, because the game has changed that to that level. Right. So that's why I regret pimps up holes down. That's why I regret American pimp, because I think we pretty much gave them folks and the green light change. that they need, yeah. you know what I'm saying, me, to fuck our people, because these people that they locking up for pimps, believe me, E, they are not pimps. Let me ask you, you this. You know what I'm saying, they are not pimps. But when, the when ones you, who made the law are the tricks. Yeah, mm. that's the crazy. And that, that is, All that's the true. judges I didn't dated mm-hmm. and poli- you know politicians and yeah, 
It's they just ma- crazy. That's I another wanna, thing. I want to right ask you about, ask you about uh, uh, Pimp C. Pimp C said pimping ain't dead. It just moved to the web. And and you 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 said some while ago. You said back pages. I believe. What was the impact of back pages when it came out? And and how they was how they was moving around well, on yeah, that. I remember when Pimp first came home? You know what I'm saying? Me. You know I gave him a white bra, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Me. So, was that before that verse or after that verse? It, all this was in the same conversation, okay, right? In so, that same. So the bras at that time was fucking with. Is it called arrows or something? Yeah, it's arrows. arrows, right? So arrows, you know, the bra, you know, what I'm saying, me, she's still living, so I ain't gonna say her name, but you know, what I'm saying, she was fucking with arrows. So you know, Pimp C, you know, what I'm saying, you know, I felt like, look, bro, you my main man, you know, what I'm saying, me, you scream, you screaming this game, you professing the ism, so why don't you, you know, what I'm saying, me, have a real life experience, you know, what I'm saying, me, so, you know, you know, and at that time, you know, me personally. I didn't call that pimping. I just called that dipping and dabbing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because it wasn't on track. So, you know, a lot of people did that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, because it was some game. You can borrow some game. You tell, hey, look, you do this, this, that, and the other. You can get, you know, five, six hundred dollars a pop. And if you right. know, you got some game. So, so, so the bra, you know what I'm saying? She ended up fucking with, with, with pimp. And then that's when pimp said, damn, man. He read all them icebergs. So he said, pimping ain't dead. It just moved to, to the, the whale. whale. So, because right. he was fucking with a bitch that was fucking with the whale. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's how he got into the game. That's yeah. hard, man. Cause, I, I, like I said, when he said that, it made sense to me. It made a lot of sense because it really was an actual factual for me. I'm like, he right. It ain't dead, but well, it look at fa- OnlyFans, the same shit, same so, thing, but, same but thing. Then, but then you know, think about it too. Me and you older, both old enough, and, and I'm, Jamaica might be old enough to remember typewriters. Yeah, mm-hmm. and now they got. Apple Max, yeah, right. Max you know is in the that? building. So, so million, so, 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 so all it is that the bishop went from the track to the Apple Mac. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, these girls, they got it so good. They got GPS. They, I didn't have that back in the day. No. I just had to write down instructions on the napkin. Go up here. Get off on this exit. Get off at the red uh, uh, barn right there. Remember MapQuest? Yes. I remember MapQuest. No, that's before uh, MapQuest. I had a pager. Mm-hmm. I was talking on the landline. I remember landline. Man, okay. you talking? Hey, you talking Spanish to some of the youngsters oh, now? Oh yes. Landline, so, yeah, party landline. line. Come on now. No, the landline to talk to the trick, mm-hmm. so he can give me instructions to get to his house. And you want to find it because you don't want to go on a dry run. Mm. Wow! Dry run is the worst. So, so we telling y'all all this to show credibility, to let people know that we actually live the life. We yes. understand what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? We understand your heartaches. We understand your trials and tribulations. So we want to show the young people it's a better way and a brighter day. You it know sure what I mean? Is. Like now, you know, I'm going taking iced tea in there and Boosie in there, getting them, you know, six figure deals. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, you know, we working, giving brothers liquor deals. We giving them cologne deals. We hooking them up with rap snacks. You know, we doing big and better shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's like just because you know, you know, you know, don't let your your past, you know, define your future. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we always in the present, but only for a second. You know, I just hit the table. That's the past. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. I Man. done that. Right. Everything we said in this conversation, we were no, talking. No. That's the past. This is all. So past. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't. You can't you can't relive the past, but what you could do is you can predict the future. That's why I say a man who failed to plan, plan to fail. You know, you must work your plan and plan your work. If you could do that, you know what I'm saying, as a young man or a young woman, and you can learn from Martina and myself, then you can go to the next level. You know, because there is other levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you ain't got is. to be stuck in the street. You once was in the prison system one time. I was in the prison system. You know, Ice-T was robbing banks at one time. You know what I mean? Robbing jewelry stores or Correct. whatever. So, you know what I mean? Everyone can elevate. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the main reason for our podcast. Yes. That's the main reason why we're here. Transitioning. And we're not trying to glorify the game. But, you know, sometimes when you talk about stuff, you know, it's like it, it reminds you of certain things. So you might get a little Juiced. excited. I yeah. want I yes. man, I want to say, man, this show about to be crazy, man. Y'all's podcast, I can't wait. I'm finna tap all the way in. Yes. You know what I'm a saying? Few from the game. Man. man that Martina, something else, man. Man, she, y'all, hey, no, no, it's a, a combination she, over there, yeah, man. Yeah, Stop right, playing, right, man. Right, yeah, he's she's a comedian. <laughs> she's a comedian, man. I'm hey. tripping because how y'all just ended up saying y'all gonna come together and do this podcast. Yes. No, she <laughs> called me. When she did, she called me. Her, China, and Visa, they called me 
It was late at night. I thought they was on some cocaine. I said, I said oh, uh, no. late at night. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm just a joke, right? I said, they geeking this, uh, this time of night. And then they said, yeah, uh, we want to do a podcast. And, yeah, because I was really depressed. That was right after Kenny Ray. my sister passed away, okay. too. Mm, yeah. During the Two same time? Two days before Kenny passed Ooh, away. So really? I was already, yes. I didn't know that. Yes, and so I was already sick about that. And then he passed away, and I was in a Even deep deeper depression. depression. How was, and that's how they got me up out of it. Mm, like, okay, the conversations like, and just. Yeah, and I was like, just really. We're going to do this, busy. and we're going to yeah, do that. Taking but, your but, mind but, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like you. So, I got, so, yeah. so first thing I did was, you know, I seen her video. I, 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 I went and did the research, and I'm looking at her on uh, soft white uh, underbelly and, and on no jumper, and she just was so funny. And I was listening, to, looking at all the comments and how all the girls respected her. And then I went on the Instagram. I said, you know what? This woman is a genius. I said, this, that's a brilliant idea. This is not my idea. This is her idea. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm, saying? I'm not even going to front. I'm a real nigga, so I don't be lying on myself or yeah. pimping on my, yeah, yeah. my podcast and none of that shit, right? So, you know, and, and I told her, I said, give me a couple of days to think about it. So I called up about a month later, what, about a week later? No, it was so, a week later. I said, and he was like, get to Atlanta. I and said, I was gone like Susie Wong. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it was so good because I was going through a depression and I needed to get away. And when I got there, Ken put me to work. Like as soon as I got off the plane, boom, boom, boom. And then HB got me. Boom, boom, boom. Man. It was like, and I was so happy to work and be busy and that's real. That's real. It was stuff. just, it was just, it just took me took away to the from studio. A lot of she stuff. did a song. She did a song. Really? Yes. Ken, you man, you something else, bro. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Well, no, it was a good idea, man. I ain't gonna front, man. Yeah. You know, when you look at the uh, the analytics, you look at the mega trends on, on uh, Martina. You like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I know she's from the game. I'm from the game, and you know, 99 percent of people, man. She'll tell you, everybody tell you that's real in the game. They use my, all that shit is mine. Hope of blow up, all them link, all that lingo out there, most of that shit, that's the shit I created. I got the book to prove it. No, so a I lot of dudes, it. they read my book and they be quoting me to me, like, you know, like they me. And I be like, nigga, do you well, know yeah. who you talking to? <laughs> well, Ice-T used to quote, Iceberg Slim. Slim. So, you but know. I remember when when I read your book and I had I had people that worked for me, a white girl, all kind of people. I made them all read your book. We was on our way to Atlanta. Say, all oh, y'all need to get this right here, and I got pictures to prove it. I, yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. I had all of them. They worked for my stores. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to read this book, man. We read it. We read it. Your book all the way to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. so, what but, was but, the white but, girl but, saying? Uh, uh, she just. Really, she was. She never. What does this mean? Yeah, that, what does yeah, 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 that, that, mean? Yeah, that, that, she well, was see, the choosing <laughs> but, but, but Tina, but Tina, on the on the flip side, a lot of women follow you too. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So I a lot love of women, young girls out there, I love that, all the you know, women. They use her lingo. Yes. So that was that was the reason why it made sense to me. I said, damn. And then you know when we was thinking about what to call, I said, let's call it a view from the game because you know everybody see me on all these podcasts and they hear me talking. I told my CEO. Brother Vado and I told uh, James, my national, I said, man, y'all gonna have to probably step up because I said, man, I'm doing this podcast. And I said, you know, I don't want to demigrate, you know, or denigrate or, you know, uh, taint the brand. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna step back so we can do this podcast. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? Man. And I said, I want to yeah, do like it because, it. you know, I felt it in my bones and I knew it was the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? I said, this is the right thing to do. You know, it's just that sometimes Tina could be a little impatient. But you're a brand and yes, take it easy. Y'all yes, both work on that. Y'all both solid, solid individuals, man. Yes. So, hey, man, I'm 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 gonna end it with this note, man. How, but I, I do have a question. What? I'm gonna end this. I, I'm, I'm trying to get the mother two on here before they get out of here. Or they get or okay. this guy. I got them. Okay, they're they <laughs> oh, so they gonna have to. They gonna have to. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> y'all got y'all to get them. Have any young ladies reached out to you in your inbox and be like? um this is where I'm at. I'm trying to get out. I need to know, you know, how can I do this? Or even some young girls who are choosing to get into life and be like, is there another choice? Can I do something else? Um, I'm just going to tell them my DM is filled up with all those kind of questions and I'm not answering none of them. They got to read my book and find out because I'm not going to give you no advice and get myself caught up because I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are. That's real. On the internet, I don't know if you're the police. That's real. Asking me some stuff, and I say one thing, and I'm up short. I didn't play myself up out of my freedom. 
That's real. No, I'm saying the same thing. That's, that's real. Answer. That's so real. I don't answer none you of those questions. You can't play them kind of games. I don't play them kind of games. I don't know who you, you can't. are. You can't. You don't know, know who you are. He, he, he's slick, man. See, so I'm put not it in the book. No, yes. Hey. Whatever. Like, I and got instructions. And jealous, too. I have a poem called Home in 101. Okay. And it's this one right here. I'm going to read this one to you. This okay. Is, um, this is called SugarDaddy.com. Hmm. I met a trick on SugarDaddy.com. I went to dinner. He gave me PPM, a thousand ones. We got to back to his place. I said, I need more money. There will be no GFE or getting in the sheets. I don't play that, honey. I need $10,000 stipend every month. I need payment right now. This ain't no stunt. I'm one of the best hookers you ever had, a, le a legend. So it's going to cost you more cash. He looked at me and said, I got to sell my stocks and bonds in the AM. I said, so? So I said, I want your soul in reparation. He looked at me and said, you're right. He handed me a whip and he said, beat me all night. I beat his privileged ass till his skin was raw and bleeding. Then I disappeared into the night like a vampire feeding. Mm. I came back in the morning and broke him for all the money. I told him, I'll see you next month, and I'll have plenty of honey. He smiled and said, that was the best cash he spent in a long time. I told him, I'm Hustle Mom, and I'll always stay on your mind. Hey, hey. hey. Hustle Mom. Break a chick, break a chick. Hey, man, check it, man. <laughs> Just because of that poem you said, I thought about this question. What's the craziest thing you've ever had to do to a trick? <laughs> it's some stories. The craziest thing that I ever, ever did to a Trizic was, you know, I didn't shit on the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Man, what, I mean, real, real? Yeah, you I know, mean, I had he asked you to do that. No, wanted. he gave me a thousand dollars and it, he's a regular. Right. And um he gave me a thousand dollars and he would like buy my food what he wanted me to Right. So we, we go out to lunch and eat and then when we get back to the room, he'll have this enema. That's disgusting. It's so disgusting. <laughs> and then he would put these you know, those things that you put on I your take eyes. The money, yeah, you go, oh yeah. You know, you go to sleep in. Uh -huh. And then he'd be like, You ready? And I'll be like, Yeah, you ready? And then I'll put the enema in and then I'll hold my booty cheeks together. And then when he say he ready, and then it's just an explosion. Oh. And he just sits there and wobbles in it. <laughs> and I get, you know, I walk off the bed. What the hell going on? And then on? I go in the shower, take a shower, and the date's over, and then I just leave. And he's just in there, just He stayed to, like, in it when you walked out yes, the door? And I look back, you know what I'm saying? He was just no. having a good old mud wrestling time. <sighs> and you so, walked out with your money? I walked out with my money, that was it. Damn! And I used to see him once a month, you know? Every time you had to go out to eat with him, so he would get whatever food that he wanted. Hopefully, it's all vegetables or something. No, he, sometimes he wants pancakes, and <laughs> you know, he might want a thicker texture. But that is so gross and crass. Um, but you know, it, you know, somebody got to do it. Everybody so have the, a different damn. fetish, you know. Somebody so, what's the do best it. thing that ever uh, a trick ever done for you that wasn't gross? I mean, what's yeah, we gonna take it to the other side. Money a trick, right. trick uh, done bought me, got me a car, bought me an apartment. Um, just felt like I played on his emotions to where he couldn't even date me. He just felt like he needed to take care of me for mm. God. You wow. know, and just, you know. You didn't even have to see him. He'll just send it. You know, I, I was seeing no, him don't sometimes. Sound like but not dating stalker. him. Not dating him or anything like that. Just company. Just company and just feel like he had a, God made him feel like it was his responsibility to, save you. to take care of me. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. That's and I wild. thank God for that. Y'all asked me the crazy and he shit was a whole judge. done to me. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with it. I want to hear this before we get off here. I got to hear what this. What about the one that started sea walking on you? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. Girl, stop crib walking. But that was the, cra the craziest thing that ever happened to me, man, is I was, uh, bro, she, she was with me for about two weeks. And, uh, I'm laying, I'm asleep, and she got a Bible, and she praying. And my mama Christian, so you know what I mean? I, I'm having like an epiphany. I'm like, damn, I'm about, 
I got to get out the game. She had me scared to death, right? I mean, she was just praying, and, and, and she knew how to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. I was like, oh, my God. And, and that, hey, hey, hey. And I called my mama, you know, for confirmation. I said, mama, you know, if somebody, you know, woo, woo, why you sleep? I ain't tell her what the, you know, the nature. She said, well, you know, son, that's a sign that God is calling you, right? And I wrestled with, they wrestled with me for a while, but, you know, I never forgot that, you know. And then one thing. Man, I had the I, same I thing happen to me mm -hmm. when I was coming out the game. You know, when I, you know, left Kenny Red, I just was, like, tired of getting pimped on in cold, chilly blood. And so I was just looking for God. And so I had joined the Nation of Islam. But I didn't stay there long enough to, you know, write my letter and everything. But they taught me a lot, you know, and. Do you have to cover your head and stuff? Oh, yeah. I got rid of all you had my all old white. clothes. You, you had them all white? All that. I'm telling you, I was just really, I was just wanted to, just, I wanted a break. I just was tired. You got some good on. shit today, dude. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She, she, she turned all the way Muslim, I man. I did. I had my hair wrapped, but I was looking cute. I had my suits on with the How matching How long did garment. all of that last for? It lasted for less than six months, and then the streets was calling me back. <laughs> and it was like, Martina, Martina. And then I went, that's when I opened up my escort service. That's the thing. I, that, I remember when My you know worse than hers. I had a bra saving the money. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm straight. She saved the money. <laughs> Till you come back. Yeah, she gave about ten, fifteen thousand. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. And, and, and you know what? My mama would say it's the devil. You know what I'm saying, me? But no, nah, man. You know that bra, man. You know she was a real bra, man. And you know she could have chose up and went somewhere. But you know she, she was loyal. Giving, she, she was giving she was me an opportunity to see, Absolutely. Ken, is this really what you want to do? Because the other, it was a few other bras that was with me that I just told myself, man, I'm done with this shit. They went on about their they business. Chose but up. They, 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 they didn't show up. They came back. They came back. Yeah. Once they found out that I was back, you know, everybody thought I was crazy. All my pimp partners mm -hmm. thought I was crazy. They would say, all right, you so said when I'm they done found that you was back, they came back to the pimping. Yeah, yeah, even my OG, uh, Jim Dandy, you know what I'm saying? Me, I told him, I said, man, you know, I think I gave my life to God. I said, well, I think I, I changed up. He was like, man, you know, come on, man. You know what I mean, man? Kenny, you know, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's and wrong I, with and, you? And, I, and everybody, man, all my partners calling me, man. You know, they like, woo, woo, woo. Because, you know, I was the breath of, I, I'm like the life of the party. Yeah. So if you with me back then, if you with me, I keep it pimping 100%. Ain't, we ain't going to be not one square. I mean, and we ain't going to have not one square inch of conversation. You know what I mean? Wow. It's going to always be about some ism and some moves and some twists and stuff like that. So they wanted that too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and the bra, you, you know. You really motivated them. Yeah, I mean, because I, 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 I was the game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, this shit was in me, not on me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I, exactly. I was born, not sworn. Because, you know, my daddy was a player. Yeah. My uncles was players. My, my uncle Greasy had hoes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my mama was a square, but my daddy was a player. He was a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? He gambled and, you know, did all kinds of shit. So, uh, at that time, they called Tees and Blues. You know, we had a box of money. They used to come and gamble in my house all the time. So, I never in my life, in, in, in all my life, had anything square. So, you know, I always been around game. So, you know what I'm saying? I always had a fascination for the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me, so, you know what I'm saying? But my mama now, they was church people, but my daddy is my hero. You know what I'm saying? My sisters now, they follow my mama in the church all day, every day. I was trying to do what Pops was doing, what my uncle them doing, because, you know, they had big rings and the shit, you know, telephones. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Everybody, you know, you, you man, if you just you go to ask some. anybody, ask them about my, my, my daddy and Greasy. They was the biggest players in the town. In the you know what I'm saying? They were mm -hmm. some players. So, you know, like my son, you know, I'm his daddy. I'm a player. I've been a player all his life. That's how my daddy was. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now, my granddaddy, Mr. Nelson, he was a businessman. I told you he owned 160 acres yeah, down in Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 160 acres, 120 acres, you have a city. So, we had our own city. Mm, and we still got the land in Oxford, Mississippi. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was always players in my family. But so, when I got out the game and I tried, niggas, you know, I just know too many niggas. Like now, I'm out the game. But man, I guarantee you, I'm gonna get five to ten calls every month from yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. Pips, what's up, P? You know what I'm saying? Cause they just want they just they want to get a nugget of game. They just want me to say something, cause niggas know that's what, that was what I live. You know, man. So, um, yeah, man. That 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 was a crazy day that happened to me, man. That girl prayed over me, and you know, she was. I'm like, she was hoeing like a motherfucker. I'm like, how the fuck? Is you praying like this and acting? You know, you act like one. You act like Sister Mary in the church. I mean, <laughs> right. how the hell do you know well, how to say how to pray? Yeah, and, and all, all this prayers. stuff. But, but I just, I, I don't look at it, man. I, 
anybody, man, can be used, man. It don't matter yes. who they are. He used a mule in the Bible. So yes. I just feel like anybody sure be used. I think a lot of time it's twisted, man. Like, I, I never was a church goer or a church member in my life. I never felt it like that. I never done that. I was always a person who I basically <laughs> felt like you could worship God where you stand. So I, I when you said that, it, it marinates. I, I understand where you're coming from because... I felt that way. I've been kicked I out. Love the I, Lord, I, I've though. been kicked out of churches. Right. You know, they kicked me out because I always questioned what was going on. And so I think a lot of times it don't matter where you're at. No, who you, I love who the you Lord, know. Though, e, right. E. I love the Lord. For sure. You know what I, I, mean? I study I Islam. God. I study Taoism. I study Confucius. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I study Judaism. But that confused you, though. No, they didn't confuse when me. She had, like, well, did well, she put okay. her hands on you? No, no, oh, or, or no, she no, she's just over praying you? over me. And, was she you know, like just standing over you? No, she just had a Bible. She was just praying like a motherfucker. You know, she was just she was on it like my mama. Like she reminded me of my mama. Like a, yeah, yeah. Like you know, a meat so, eater. So, you know what I'm saying? In the Bible, she ain't the reason that I went to church. Well, I eventually went to church, but what I'm saying is that I do believe in God. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah, I know you and, do. And, and, I've been you know, around you too that much. Was, that was the craziest thing that happened. I had a broad crip walk on me, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, man. I, you know, gang banging, man. These niggas, man. They, you in L.A.? Man, shit, man. Hey, man. She started sea walking hey, on Hey, these Where niggas. Where y'all was at when she crip walked? Man, I, I, I'm old. I can't remember all that shit. But, but she went through. I mean, did she have a... Because I know the moves. I seen it done a lot. Yeah. You know, listen, she was hitting it. Well, listen to what I'm saying, man. When you get a bitch from a gang banger or you get a bitch from L.A. or get a bitch from out of town, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that you know, the way they is now, these hoes is different. You know what I'm saying? They they, they into gang banging. They into all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mean? So the bitch just started crip walking. You know what I'm saying? Mean? And I'm looking at her like she crazy. Was there any music on? Huh? No, they just... They just that's how she they just, do it now. She just... She was mad at him, so she gang banged What? Him. Yeah. And said, I'm, I'm going to go get my cousins. Oh, she threw a set? Yeah. Yes. Damn. And you just said back, like, you what, you like, this is the first time I ever had a whole crib walk on me when she... <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I had worse of shit that that happened. You know, I had, you know, bitches threatening to kill themselves, want to cut yeah. their throat, bitch put a knife in her uh, throat. You know, I had a lot of shit happen, man. You know, you can't be in the game for 40 years and don't see damn near everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen, you know, wife in laws do some crazy stuff, but uh, I really loved my wife in laws. Yeah. And I really loved that poly life, you know? Like, you guys might not ever get that, but I liked it, that camaraderie of having a wife in law and we have that sisterhood. What is a wife in law? A wife in law is the same lady that's paying your man. Okay. So we're all in the family together, we have one thing in common. Is that man, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, I had like somebody in the wife same family. You know, somebody in the same family. The house, same, same household. Same, household. The same man. They don't mean you live the in the same, same house. No, right. It's same, you know what? Just have the same man. Have you know what? Uh, That's what I thought it was. You know what, uh, uh, Mr. Maker? I never know why they call it wife law to this day. Why do you call it wife law? I don't know. I'm going to study that. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, cause, cause I, 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 we used to wife. I don't know why. How would it be a wife in law when you say, you know, you know I mean, the other bitch is your wife. Yeah, they because because it, it'd be like, it'd be like, um, in laws or something. Yeah, sort of, kind of. But that's not yeah. your wife. It should, it should be your whole in law. That's yeah. your wife in law. Yeah. <laughs> they need to change that. Yeah. Young P. Whole in law, man. No it's more wife in law. No, no more wife in laws. Whole in law. Man, hold up, man. I got to shut that it down. That make more sense. Say, right. man. Thank y'all for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you if they trying to reach out? Because I always do pimp again like that. Um, My name is Hustle Mom Martina on all my social media um, platforms. And uh, yeah, you can find me at that name. And it's Pippin Ken on everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? Pippin Ken on Real everything. Pippin Real Pippin Ken. Real Pippin Ken. Underscore. Yeah, and uh, you know, Hustle Mom Martina. Man, All day long. the new you show is uh, View from the Game. View from the Game, man. Shout out to, man. Shout out to Hip Hop Attorney. Go to thehiphopattorney.com. HHL. HHL. It's going HHL. down. HHL. Hey, hey, it's been another great segment. That way. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses way. talk. And we out. We out.